translation practice of this article. So you start by reading the article three, maybe four times. Remember that the general word order will be subject, verb, object in every sentence. So start by trying to identify nouns that could be the subject in each sentence. Start by identifying the verbs. Start by looking for time phrases or sentence starters at the start of each sentence. So this is a, um, an article then about Michael Schumacher and the accident that he had. So in the first line we've got Dieter Althaus, well that's a name. We've got beten, beten, which means to pray. There's a time phrase at the start of the first sentence, look. Vor fünf Jahren, vor fünf Jahren. Now might be a good time to hit pause and try and work out what this text means, and then I'll give you some clues. Now that you've had a chance to study it, you'll notice what tense are most of the verbs in? Well, like nearly, like lots of journalism, they're written in the imperfect tense. So we've got er lit, lag, er holte sich. They're all imperfect tense. Er lit comes from er leiden, which means to suffer. Lag comes from liegen. And er holte sich, sich erholen, means to recover from. Okay. There's also some present tenses here. Line one, the title, beten, beten, to pray, beten, to pray. Um, sind, in the final line, are, present tense. Look for any interesting nouns. Gedanken, thoughts. Schwer is an adjective, meaning hard or difficult or heavy. Skiunfall, that's a compound noun. So if we look at this text then, um, you should come up with something like the following. Dieter Althaus prays for Michael Schumacher. Five years ago, four fünf Jahren, suffered Dieter Althaus a serious skiing accident and was lying in a coma. So in English then, we would probably say five years ago, Dieter Althaus um, had a terrible skiing accident and um, was in a coma. Der ehemaliger, ehemalig is a great noun. Sorry, it's a great adjective. It means previous or former. Der ehemalige Ministerpräsident Thüringens. The former Minister President of Thüringen, which is one of the German Bundesländer, recovered from the drama. Now his thoughts are with Michael Schumacher. That would be a nice translation. Okay.